What's going on guys, it's Accolade and welcome back to the 6 man small tribe official PvP series and today we're gonna, in this video we're gonna be doing some farming, we're gonna do a lot of base progression, it's gonna be a pretty big day for that, but we're gonna start it off right off the bat with an insane raid, honestly it was on a small metal box with no turrets, but hey, it's 6 man and we were on our way back from yesterday's video and we decided uh, we got some extra C4, we might as well break in and what we found, you guys are probably not gonna believe, um, inside an unprotected base, so I hope you guys enjoy. And let's get right into it. I feel like this is all on. Hold on, let me make sure it's not burning down this side. Okay, it's a solid base. I might have to pick you up like immediately, so just blow it and start running. Why? Why? Because all the teams will Chief. To maybe kill you? Chief, C4 doesn't aggro. I guarantee you all this no, no, is all no, going no. to be on neutral. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. no. C4, do you? No. no. no that was my Alright, uh, get out. I don't really have anything on it. So you need to take this. That's actually decent. Dude, 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 look at that, look at that. <laughs> dude. Dude. dude, 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 yo, uh, free shades, free, free shads, 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 support, shads, shads, I need your mic right now, shads, I need your mic right now, shads, I need your mic. Make sure he isn't shivering me, dude, we need him to bring another RG. Yes. Shots. Shots, you Shots, bring RG. I unmuted you, so you need an RG. No, no, I unmuted you, I unmuted you. I, I don't have status. No, 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 no. One of our ass base. Oh my, what the fuck? Dude, there's, there's 61 another. metal walls, what the fuck? Dude, there's so much stuff. Wait, what? It's okay, not that Oh my. We just got an industrial forge, dude. Back on that grind. Um, today we're farming a ton of bullets for our turrets because we didn't really have any. Um, in order for, to do that, we need some some wood for charcoal. And I've never used a chainsaw before, but apparently it gets a ton of wood, so we're about to find out. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's going to fill up quick. I <laughs> need to bring the RG a little bit closer. Apparently, I can like fill up the RG from one tree, which is insane. Oh my god. Wait, what? How long can I chainsaw this thing? What? Is, does this tree have unlimited health? 2,600 wood? Can I even carry all of this? Oh my god, from one tree. And it's still standing. What is this? Oh, I literally encumbered our best RG with one tree. That's insane. You can you can fill a, an entire forge with one tree probably. That's ridiculous. This chainsaw is so amazing. I've actually never played rag really or scorched shirts, so I've never really used um, those type of items. But that's so, that's like better than any tame for, for wood. I was thinking like, I don't know, Mammoth or something would, or Beaver would be better, but that's, that's insane. As you guys can, uh, can see, we're doing a lot of work around the base. Um, just need to move all of this one to the forge, which I think we're going to have room for. Everybody's going on metal runs, um, even though we don't have any Quetzal yet, which hopefully we'll be doing soon. Um, RG runs are actually pretty decent with this one because 2,000 plus health is, is a decent amount of metal. 
2,300 wood in like seconds. You can literally slot cap the forge in like a minute. That's ridiculous. Well, we won't be needing wood for a while. While our wood is um, burning down, I might as well grab this gunpowder that I already made and uh, start making some bullets at least. Because that's going to take a while. We got a full forge of wood there. Let's see. Okay. Decent amount of bullets. Decent amount of bullets. Um, I think we only have like 200 or so per turret. So I definitely want to get that up to at least 500. Uh, maybe maybe not by today, but maybe by tomorrow. Because this is actually a tedious process. I forgot how much charcoal and um, gunpowder you need to make every single bullet. I'm just going to throw all this ammo into the heavy because I think it shoots like four times as fast as the other ones. Um, so it's going to drain four times as quick. Also, it does way more damage, so I might as well. I also want to make a bunch of crop plots for uh, Planet X all over the base because right now we really don't have that many turrets. Um, and crop plots are going to help a lot. So we need some thatch, I think, and then fiber. So I might as well grab that right now. 36 fiber per bush. Oh, yeah, we're not going to need very much at all. How much is a crop plot? Like, okay, so yeah. I think we'll get like maybe a thousand, and then we'll be. We'll have plenty for as many crop plots as we need. Alright, pretty much got everything I think we need. We already had a ton of stone and wood um, from <laughs> the chainsaw run and then some metal runs. I always save a little bit of stone for occasions like today. Yep, okay, I'm just going to try to grab as much as I can, I guess, and then uh, we'll see how many I can make. You gotta level up here. Perfect. Oh, level 74 already. <laughs> love, gotta love three times. Um, but it looks like we got a grand total of 19 crop plots. So I, my plan is to place them um, around these turret towers so they're not as easy to run. But I'm not exactly sure how I want to do it. I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of a way. At first I wanted to put them on, on top. But then it's not going to help if people just run up to it. They're not even going to shoot. So I think I'm going to put them around the bottom. But I want to try to figure out how to how I'm going to do this. Oh, so I, it looks like I can place one there. Can I place it? And I want it to be even on all of them. So maybe I'm going to have to go with like an angled. Yeah, like that potentially. And I could just do that like that on every single turret tower. Yep, I think we're going to go with that. Looks good. Oh, no, no, I can't. Oh, oh. Right there. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I, that looks pretty good. I, duh, I think I'm just going to put two here um, since I don't think one's going to fit there. Actually, we can put three. One on the edge there. There we go, just in case someone comes from that valley over there. Looks decent, looks decent. And the last one I want to hit up is this one right here. Yeah, it looks like I'm just going to have to go with the square one because I don't feel like demoing that. And I think that's going to be it for uh, Plants X's right now. I just have to wait for it to rain and then uh, I'll throw some of that fertilizer we got from the raid today um, in there along with some Plants X. Just got back from a metal run. Um, we actually get a decent amount of metals, you guys can see. Um, I think that's probably my best metal run yet. Um, but I really want to get started on more turrets as well as more bullets. Because um, I think we're lacking on turrets, especially on the front, on the sides, and on the back. I, I realized what I just said. So we're pretty much lacking on all sides. Um, like six on the front is not enough. You can flak run that. And then I think we only have like two on the back. Um, might as well throw the stone in as I was talking about earlier I mean even if it's extra weight it's worth it because um, you can turn it into spark powder and you need that for gunpowder anyway so if you're going on a metal run for turrets you might as well get some spark powder for bullets and then uh, you're always prepared actually we got a decent bit um, going here let's see got the forge going um, just need to grab this little bit of stone I'll just throw that in there 
Okay, okay. As you guys can see, I've been grinding a little bit of turrets. Um, not too many, but definitely enough to make a big improvement on the base. So this is going to be a huge, huge help. I'm going to throw these up right now. Um, and this is going to probably stop people from flock running our bases. I actually need to put up some hatch frames up there. Some extra hatch frames. So I'll just throw these, these extra turrets. Um, I want to fill up these front turrets as well. Because this is where people are going to be coming from anyway. So they're going to have to go through these towers before they go through, before they even can hit the main base. Um, so if these are strong, then uh, the rest of our base is going to be strong. Just like this. Then I think I'm going to, oh, is that one out of place? Maybe in the middle here? Okay. Uh, there's an invisible wall on that side, and it doesn't want me to place. What do you mean? Okay, well, hopefully I can place this time. There we go. And of course I fall. <laughs> but that is already looking a lot better, even though the turrets aren't online. Um, I'll turn them on once I get bullets for them. But that is going to be a lot more intimidating, especially... Uh, people are not going to try to run a flak run a tower that looks like that. The last thing I wanted to do this episode is I crafted up these hatch frames that I was talking about earlier and I want to get these ones down so I can place turrets on these. I think I'm probably going to do three turrets per hatch frame um, and that's going to make the base look pretty good. I think it's going to be even on all sides hopefully. Yep that's even. Um, thank god Nightwind uh, expanded this base evenly. <laughs> it's going to actually look nice when we put turrets on it. Boom. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to probably fill these in. So there's three on each hatch frame. And then on the corner ones, are going to be one, two, three, four, five. But yeah, it looks good. This is the base right now. As you can see, I uh, have been working on it a little bit. The whole the whole crew's been doing that. We got our little plant wise here um, that we got from the raid. Those are growing. Um, that's going to be a ton of help during raid defenses. We can spam those all over the ground. Got a few bullets, not too many. Um, but I'm going to end the episode here as I place these bullets into the rest of these turrets. I'll probably do that off camera. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're enjoying um, this series so far. And I will see you guys in the next one. I can change your mind. Starting to see it in your eyes. I used to love a good surprise. I'd rather know I had a time